projection, schizophrenia and projection, but before we get to projection, please allow my brief prelude. As you know, I've conveniently recorded it for our mutual comfort, our mutual convenience, and our mutual luxury. And hey, I'm no spring chicken, and I'm okay with that. And I've been around a few preludes in my ears, and this one is particularly luxurious, kind of like a uh, bar of pure gold. Yeah, sounds like this. Hold on a second. There we go. Hello there. My name is Robert Francis. You've stumbled on my Unconquering Schizophrenia YouTube channel. Hey. Where me and the bird. Hey. That's right. That's right. We talk schizophrenia. That's Mike. This is the cut of my jib right here for reasons of my medical confidentiality. My jib. That's 15 years. My jib is due That's for shade. That's a lot shade. of Gavin and Chatton. I've been diagnosed with schizophrenia for a score five and one. That's 26. And that puts a little gray fleck in my beard. Don't mind the gray fleck. Thank you for joining me on my channel. Now to topic, to topic, to topic. Schizophrenia and projection. This is kind of uh, an interesting and very important one. Projection uh, is a cognitive distortion. And uh, what projection is, is that you, when we're thinking something, we generally think other people in the environment are thinking the same thing. So we project our own thoughts onto other people thinking that they're thinking similarly than to us. And so when you're psychotic and you're having thoughts of a psychotic nature, you project them onto other people and you think other people are thinking thoughts similar to you and it reinforces the psychosis. So it's a cognitive distortion. So the things that I'm thinking aren't necessarily the things that people in the environment are also thinking. There's no correlation. They could be thinking something entirely different. But uh, projection reinforces and supports psychosis big time. So if you're in the middle of a psychotic kind of episode, you don't uh, try to remember that the people around you aren't thinking the same things you are. In fact, they're probably thinking about something very mundane, like uh, getting a drink of water or, or something very mundane or, you know, thinking about paperwork or something like that, you know. But uh, when you're amid a, a psychotic episode, please remember the people around you aren't thinking similarly to you at all. That's, a that's known as projection and it's cognitive distortion. It's a very important one because we do it big time. Uh, us with schizophrenia, we project onto other people thinking they're thinking something similar to us when they're thinking something mundane or not even related. You get the picture, you get the picture. Uh, Mike the bird, he flies on in the sun. That's his intrinsic activity. Cliff notes the book uh, one, The Essential Schizophrenia Companion. The Companion. All right. What else is going on? Soon, uh, jolly old St. Nick will be here before you know it. Time flies sometimes, right? Time flies. Uh, summer is gone. It flew by and... We're approaching the holidays, and where does the time go, guys? Where does the time go? Uh, I don't know if it gets, it speeds up when you get uh, older, too, I think. Maybe it's just you appreciate time. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. All right, guys, thanks for joining me. Please know I appreciate every single view. I really do. Um, it's very cool for me to see people who view my videos. It's very, very cool, and I want to thank you again. All right, we'll see you next time. Bye now.